this conference will limited. now be recorded. But the major breakthrough has been got in the 2012, okay, uh, to get the more, uh, 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 what I can say, uh, more confidence uh, to solve the problems by using the AI. Uh, the major breakthrough got in the 2012. So after that onwards, uh, there is no back look, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, we are seeing the today's world, right? So how the AI has been evolved, where are the applications we are using, right? Th those informations. So now I'm going to share my demo content, okay? Give me a minute, I was... Yeah, Nehru, sir. Uh, one second. I was facing an issue to share the content. Give me a minute. Let me know. Is it visible or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. It's visible, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I hope you are clear, right, where the AI journey started. So initially it started in the 1950s, okay. But later on, the, initially they thought of it is a rule-based approach uh, the, to solve the rule-based problems. But later on it evolved in 1980s and 90s, data-driven uh, uh, without explicit coding, right. So data-driven approach. And it got a breakthrough in the year of 2012. That was the a brief introduction where where it is started okay uh, so so in to, in today's rapid evolving technology landscape right ml and dl are the so ml means machine learning 
DL means deep learning. Okay, deep learning are the forefront for our in innovation. These cutting edge fields are driving advancements in various industries. So, like uh, healthcare industries, we are seeing okay uh, something like drug discovery, or else predicting the the uh, which type of uh, which type of uh, um, issues you are going to be face or predicting like you are going to get the heart attack or else you are going to get the cancer so those type of predictions we are doing and even in the entertainment uh, recommending the movies or else the generating the videos okay these things and even in the transportation side like uh, we, we, we have the evaluated this AI technology there so imagine, uh, imagine being if you are able to teach a computer to predict uh, the diseases, recommend your next favorite movie, or even drive a car automatically, autonomously, what I'm saying, autonomously. So that that's what happening. So what what eventually do right if you if you develop an application, the AI or ML application, okay where it should run it should it need to run on a, either a computer or either on a mobile device either on a cloud environment either on edge edge device means any other applications so some some hardware is needed okay some hardware equipment is needed there whatever we built a uh, or else develop the application right there it should run so you you have to communicate in the real world or else in the daily needs with that application and that application will give the solution or else the prediction for your problem okay that that's how the generally it will happen so so if you imagine right uh, computers can understand imagine in your world okay imagine in your world assume okay there is a world so maybe a cinematic assume something like cinematically there are computers can understand your language and you that can recognize your faces okay diagnosize your diseases what you have or even driving cars autonomously okay but that if if you think this maybe five years before or else a uh, ten years before assume okay this is a, a, a science fiction movie if you assume maybe five years before if you assume but uh, nowadays we are hearing right autonomous driving cars we are hearing the computers or cameras is recognizing the faces right and, and this is the this is the incredible advancements in the machine learning and deep learning because of this advancements only these applications has came okay into the real world so now you nowadays the people are using the chart gpt chart gpt is understanding what you are asking the question and it is giving the response for your question so that is the understanding the language the computers and one more example every time you will use the search engines right search engine means google you will search something or shopping online or you will interact with the social media right so there the back end you are using this ml and uh, ML technology okay but uh, exactly machine learning and deep learning how they will how it will work maybe uh, you will get an idea uh, by end of this session maybe how it will work means where it will play the role which type of problems uh, machine learning or deep learning is going to be solved okay where we will use the which application or else which technology those details you will get the uh, clarity by end of this session okay we are seeing right if you, if you observe this picture okay you can see here if you observe this picture artificial intelligence is a a big a big vertical i can say okay under the artificial intelligence there is machine learning under the machine learning there is a deep learning okay so artificial intelligence means you can it will come under the something uh, 
everything yeah, so so before going into that detail so what is the meaning of the what is ai okay if, if you ask me what is ai yeah ai acronym for the ai is artificial intelligence the definition of ai stands for artificial intelligence okay it refers to the simulation of the human intelligence in machines that are programmed to think and mimic the human actions so what what the what the thing is what the human can do by using his brain or else the he, he can think right human and the other things has the difference is human can think okay so by using his brain what he can do right those things if you are able to do by using the programming right or mimicking the human actions that so uh, mimicking the that human actions that we'll call generally a yeah. so ai composes broad range of technology techniques i told you right machine learning is there deep learning is there under the deep learning there is natural language processing computer vision there are a lot of more technologies was there like robotics was there so these systems can analyze the data what you given as an input okay learn from it the data and make the decisions or it will do the predictions based on the information what you have been given so ai has applications in various fields such as healthcare finance transportation education and many other fields okay and it continues to advance rapidly transforming the industries and shaping the way we live and work currently right so so what it is doing it is making the lives as easy day to day so earlier some task or else some work might be doing so the monotony job okay whatever you will do in a regular day to day monotony job you are automating something okay if the if the job no need to think you can automate by doing the some script okay but if the job needs to think and take a decision based upon based upon the situation in the current time okay there the ai is present so ai has the potential to address the complex challenges and it will improve the efficiency human efficiencies okay and it will drive the innovations okay and enhances the various aspects of our lives making it an essential technology for a for the present and the future of our lives okay so i hope it's clear right why we are using the ai right tip so generally we are bringing our human brain into the computer by algorithms or by doing some programming okay giving the our human provide the brain if the if the system is able to think and if the particular system knows and you trained on everything in the world the particular system okay it can do everything it will replace the one system can replace more than more than 100 people right so if you auto so it can automate the jobs of the 100 people okay which is monotony or else which is if you provide the thinking to that it will replace you also okay that, that that's what the ai behind is hope hope i am clear so similarly what is ml what is dl okay if you observe this picture right okay so uh, i will just give the what is ml and on example how you uh, illustrate into the real world the ml how it is then i will go into this picture what it is doing here what is the difference between the ml and dl i will try to explain okay so think okay uh, so ml means machine learning the acronym for the ml okay 
it's like teaching a computer okay to do something by showing it lots of examples okay rather than giving it specific instructions what you are saying is you you are giving a lot of data to the your computer okay instead of saying like do this next step is this next step is this something like instead of doing giving the instructions right it it is learning from the given data okay uh, by showing the lot of examples okay something like you shown a uh, a cat picture a human picture a dog picture okay something this is related to the images okay and you are showing the weather condition the, re, the the data of the weather condition from the past 100 years in each month how the weather condition was there and rainy seasons winter seasons summer seasons how much the temperatures okay these informations you shown the lot of information and it has been learned something by seeing all that okay the conditions and everything okay then it is going to be forecast and predict the tomorrow's information so imagine you have your friend who wants to learn how to recognize different types of fruits assume okay so he don't know uh, he don't know about the fruits okay so and he wants to identify how you how you can uh, so you have to teach him how to recognize the each fruit okay instead of telling your friend okay the extracted features of each fruit like color shape size okay instead of saying that okay you show them many different fruit fruits okay you can show like apple how the apple looks like how it is okay or else how the banana looks like okay how the uh, 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 dragon fruit looks like so something like that you shown the information okay you shown the some images or else some real time uh, the objects you shown okay and tell them what each one is okay over the time okay your friend learns to recognize the fruits on their own by seeing lots of examples right he can recognize okay so in the same way what we are doing with the machines also uh, we feed a computer lot of examples this examples what we are calling as data okay this is the data what i am saying so these examples something we want to teach to the uh, machines right so that examples by either by the pictures either the the file level maybe excel files excel will have the have the content right so excel files with the something information computers learn from this information and gets the better at recognizing the something cat or dog or fruit on its own right later when we show it a new picture it can tell us whether it is a cat or dog or else a fruit based on what it learned from the examples suppose if you shown the a lot of fruit pictures okay apple banana some some other pictures if you shown also after some time if you ask him so he will in a different shape also if you shown also in a different uh, orientation also if you shown the picture okay he will able to recognize this is a cat or this, this is an apple this is a banana something like that okay so machine learning is all about teaching the computers to learn from the examples just like we teach our friends or ourselves by looking at lot of examples so that's the machine learning okay so here you are just giving the a data from the data it is trying to learn similarly what is dl deep learning is like teaching a computer to think to think and understand the things in a way that's similar to the humans do but using very simplified model of brain of the human brain so an example i can say so take an example um, you want to teach a child a new entry to the world okay new new newborn baby or else a, a one year old or a three years old baby who is new to the world okay if you want to teach a child how to recognize the different animals okay you start by showing the pictures of the animals and telling them what each one is okay as the child sees more and more examples 
they start to understand the differences between the animals and can recognize them on their own right in deep learning we do something similar with this with computers similar to this we feed them lots of examples like picture of animals and other uh, and the computers learn to recognize the patterns in these examples but instead of telling the computers explicitly what each pattern means we let it figure out figure the figure them out okay on its own through the trial and error so uh, it will first do it will say something and you will say no what you predicted is wrong and then it will learn again and then it will do the prediction something like that okay so deep learning uses a simplified model of the human brain called as a neural network so if you say right the human has human brain has the lakhs of neurons in the human brain and each one is interconnected to each other right so that that networking structure we are calling as a neural network so similar to the human brain the deep learning will have using the neural network okay this network is made up of the the uh, different layers means lot of neurons i can say okay lot of neurons just like the brain has interconnected the cell each cell right something like that so it is trying to learn by learning from many examples and adjusting the connections between the neurons or cells okay the deep learning model becomes better at understanding and at making the predictions about the new data so deep learning is about teaching the computers to understand the things in the way that is similar to the humans do using simplified model of the brain so if you if you if you ask me right what is the difference between the both the diagrams okay you are giving the input and you are extracting the features in the machine learning okay and you are providing that to your algorithm as a input and you are predicting the output okay but in case of deep learning right you are just giving the input okay feature extraction learning and everything the model is taking care in the deep learning you just have to provide the input data and you can do the predictions feature extraction it automatically takes care by the model but in case of machine learning you have to extract the features these are the important features you have to learn from these features if you learn the learn from the this data and then you can do the predictions but in deep learning you don't have to do explicitly implicitly model will take care and will do the predictions on your data so that's the difference between the so in the above area feature extraction area a machine learning uh, the human involved is needed but in case of deep learning uh, feature extraction area the model itself will take care hope it's clear okay so i was going to the next slide so you uh, so yeah nlp means okay natural language processing okay so it's a part of it's a part of artificial intelligence okay but it's come under the deep learning what i was saying about right the deep learning it's a sub tree of the deep learning one tree under the uh, uh, deep learning that we call as a nlp okay so nlp mainly deals with the text data so uh, text data or speech data with that type of data nlp generally will deals with okay so i will give you an example what is an nlp or else how we can deal with the nlp generally okay so it's like so overall right either ml or dl or nlp so you are teaching in a computer to understand right what we are saying or else what we need the outcome from it okay in the machine learning you will provide the the data as a uh, the information so here you will in nlp case you will provide the text as an input for our model okay so what you are trying to say was the computers to understand and communicate with humans okay 
in a way we naturally speak and write suppose okay how we are speaking with the others and or else how you answer for a particular question to the some other right so in a natural way how you will speak and how you will write if that type of answer if you get from the system right so that that type of areas we are going to be use the this nlp technology okay imagine you are chatting with your friend okay on your phone so you type out a message messages okay in your language in your own language whatever you need. and your friend understands what you are saying okay and responds accordingly what you given the message based upon that nlp helps the computers to do something similar to that okay it allows them to understand the human language whether it's a text typed on a screen or spoken words or even handwriting it is going to do predict okay with nlp computers can analyze and interpret the text to extract the meaning identify the patterns and even generate human like responses for example they can help us translate the languages summarize long documents maybe uh, there is 100 pages of the documents it can summarize the document in a one page it will it will solve the time right so you, you can eventually going to uh, the summarization of the documents is going to be help the get the overall idea about the document and answer the questions even analyze the sentiments in a social media post okay something it's a uh, uh, a post related to the a negative sentiment or else it's going to be a, create the rivalry in the society okay or say uh, rationalize uh, okay uh, uh, rationalize it is going to be create the uh, uh, problems in the current society by going uh, uh, you know posting that type of statements so then taking an action based upon the post okay so those those things will come under as a nlp branch so nlp is all about enabling the computers to understand and communicate with us in our natural language making interactions between the humans and machines smoother and more natural that was the nlp okay hope it's clear why this a or ml matter right a and ml are transforming industries and creating new opportunities okay why it is matter right so demand for the a and ml skills is growing rapidly in the job market currently right and understanding these technologies can give you a competitive edge okay a and ml can solve the complex problems and improve the decision making so now nowadays we are seeing right so the recommendation systems in the netflix or else the amazon the product recommendations when you purchase a mobile in the amazon right it will it will suggest that you can purchase the pouch you can purchase this power bank you can purchase these whatever the phone accessories it will automatically suggest along with that okay so similar to you some other may might be purchased some other products also those also it will suggest that is the recommendation system so those type of things knowledge in a and ml open the doors for the multiple career paths okay either you want a data scientist either a, a researcher either you want a machine learning engineer or deep learning engineer so if you learn these things right you have the you have that doors were open for you you can do uh, maybe you can maybe even you can the daily regular routine job in your current job also okay you can incorporate this in technology and you can reduce the efforts of you okay by one time implementing this right so it will reduce the human efforts in the long run what is the significance of ml and dl machine learning and deep learning are like smart assistants right that help us solve the problems and make decisions in our everyday lives okay so ml and dl are like helping helpful friends who learn from examples to make our lives easier and convenient whether it is sorting through the emails or recommending the movies or even driving us safely to our destination suppose right so the google maps also, so suppose you are traveling from one area to another area okay the google maps will suggest the different paths the shortest path or else 
uh, on real time you are getting the where the traffic zone is there okay these areas the back end we are still using these ml technologies and shortcuts it will suggest okay if you go with this path you can reach your destination something like that right if there is any real time traffic in the current environment also it is suggesting if you take this route okay you will reach your destination 2 minutes early or else 5 minutes early something like that so those areas also we are having the ml technology as a back end i'll just give the some uh, details about the real time applications okay where it is using okay the ml application so you can see the career of the ml uh, who learns this a and ml right so what is their career they the career should be they can place it as a data scientist so what they will do analyze and interpret from the complex data to aid the decision making the data scientist and machine learning engineer or deep learning engineer a researcher business analyst a consultant who has the idea on this a and ml technology right or else who learns this they can place anywhere or else they, if they want to do the research they on their own or else they to in the in their studies they can do the as a ai researcher okay they can create a new algorithms and they can do the advancements in the ai okay that's that's how they are evolving right and if you are as a consultant also you can advise for the companies and give the strategies and implement it okay and as a business consultant bring the new uh, new so uh, new projects to the company right as a business consultant and as a deep learning engineer you can solve with the images videos audios text okay what not so with these things okay so th there is a lot okay so uh, if you learn these things this is a, this is the what i'm trying to say this is the a first step block okay you want to learn anything related to the ai without knowing the machine learning or without knowing this machine learning technology what are the algorithms are how the algorithm will work how the algorithm will think how you will teach the algorithm without knowing this right how it will functions okay it's a very difficult to learn the other things but if you learn these things you can understand easily suppose what i'm trying to say how the chat gpt functions okay you learn you will understand okay okay chat gpt is back end is this okay this is how the chat gpt is functioning that you will understand okay or else the dalai okay image generation text generation video generation okay or else the uh, 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 maybe uh, how the classifying the uh, how the recommendation system works am i audible uh, there is a glitch from my side internet connection issue yes Just now it's audible oh, okay okay so are you missing any am i missed anything maybe what i'm saying was uh can i please show so the screen the... screen is not visible oh okay okay let me know is it visible or not is it visible yes yes i will show visible okay thank you thanks for the comment. so i was just explaining right so how the uh, how this uh, the the if you learn this technology right so where you all you can play as else you can able to understand how the chat gpt functions how you how the um recommendation systems in either in netflix or amazon you can understand or even you can uh, build a new recommendation system for your for your current needs okay and uh, you can develop the applications right if you know how it is functioning and if you know the uh, how to develop so then you can implement that you can build a, a your own application so that's what i'm saying okay so some some real time uh uh what i can say uh, the uh, the areas okay which areas it is currently using okay 
industries which industries it is using the aml i will just give the few examples they everywhere we are using the aml but i will i am just mentioning the few areas so we are using the healthcare so suppose related to the medical image analysis to diagnose mri scan ct scan in that area predicting predictive analytics diag disease diagnosis and prognosis so before getting uh, attacked by the disease uh, so if you predict right you can take the more precautions in that aspect we are using drug discovery point of view we are using okay i'll just reduce some uh, and you are getting the in the personalized medicine and treatment point of view and recommendation of the medicines which you have to use in that area you are seeing so you are using in the healthcare domain you are using the finance domain also for which problems something like fraud detection in a banking or financial transactions something like if you are a person okay your account uh, maybe you won't use more than a 10000 in a day generally uh, that's a regular behavior of your banking account assume okay but suddenly a multiple transactions has been happened on the same day and you want to report that if you want to instead of reporting by you automatically if your bank uh, uh, predict and uh, stop that transaction right then it is better right generally so why, what i am saying was a, a, a hacker hacked uh, a hacker done the, some attack on your account and he was doing the transactions instead of you right so if that type of transaction has been stopped by the uh, banking system where you use the ml so that will helpful for the the customers so that type of transaction fraud transactions credit scoring and risk assessment for lending okay uh, algorithmic trading and stock market predictions so uh, we know right so that in the stock markets okay currently so how the stock was is going to increase or else is going to be down today okay or else the few uh, so uh, which stock is going to has the more future in the coming days or else which stock is uh, no chance of uh, in the nowadays something like that right so those type of predicting so suggesting the future suggesting the which stock you have you can invest or else those type of algorithm algorithm those that is the algorithmic trading generally we will say okay and in retail industry recommender system for product recommendations which type of products you, uh, is and customer churn prediction and retention strategies suppose you are a telecom provider assume okay so you uh, the based upon your policies or else your uh, uh, plans okay whatever the uh, talk time plans or else annuity plans okay the your the customers was reducing day by day okay assume so so if you know that thing okay if your algorithm knows okay it will update you and so it will give the some strategies how you can retain the uh, the customers in that aspect okay and in the manufacturing industry predictive maintenance for machinery and equipment okay so if suppose there is a machinery was running in your manufacturing unit and it is 365 days running assume okay so if it is 365 days running without any stoppage or any halt to that any rest okay without any rest okay so there is a chance of failure of the some particle of the product okay due to the high voltages currents or else continuously running right because of that reason there is a some failure if you instead of waiting till that machinery failure if you know early before then the failure you will take the some maintenance activity to that machine okay so then it won't it won't uh, stop right in a long run so for that aspect and quality control like uh, uh, if the if you if you uh, develop their product okay uh, if you produce their product okay so that product has some uh, scratches or dents or something like that on, on the product so if you are able to identify in the industry in the manufacturing unit itself you can do take a, some precautions or some actions you will take instead of deliver after deliver to the customer customer return the product okay this all process will reduce okay supply chain logistics something like uh, you are running a, uh, a uh, regular something like walmart kind of business okay you know the which stock which stock is low and you know so if you know which stock to maintain on what level how many how many number of uh, number of uh, stocks you get something like suppose uh, in the in the ration shop or else in the uh, regular 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 
regular shops okay how many products uh, okay if the product is going to be complete by tomorrow or else, uh, so if you are understanding the so the season it's a uh, holiday season or else it's a festival season so in, in this festival season which type of products will go more sell that type of information if you gather okay and the system will suggest if you bring these type of products into the, your shop okay or else in your in your uh, in your area so that will have the more selling so that type of suggestions so energy consumption optimization for forecast uh, for the for cost reduction so something power consumption how it is taking some those type of information okay that type of details automating suppose uh, autonomous self self driving cars predictive maintenance similar i told right the uh, machinery similar to that if there is any uh, particle going to be failure in the coming days if you, if it is suggest early then in that case okay traffic flow optimization and route planning okay driver behavior analysis and safety monitoring suppose a driver has been drunk okay and uh, something like that and a driver is sleeping when he was driving those those type of monitoring alerts if you're giving you the, the customers or else the people will be more safe or else driver driver will take the some actions right if he was feeling sleepy uh, he, he will take some rest and then he will start again something like that and in in targeting you have uh, something like you are bringing a new product which type of customers i can target who will be interested about this poor um, uh, product something like that in that area and sentiment analysis and social media monitoring and brand reputation management in that area campaigning optimization and attribution modeling personalized content recommendation and advertising okay so which type of uh, the advertisement these areas also you can use the ml area okay so these are the few areas real time the do, the domains okay we are using the automa automotive domain marketing and advertising domain okay healthcare industries you are using right and retail industries you are using finance you are using marketing even educational industries there are nowadays it, they were using right so these are there are diff, all almost all the industries okay where the data you have okay the the past history data if you have then you can utilize that data okay history how the behavior of the humans between that so if that type of data if you have you can build a model or else you can build an ml application to automate the the regular process for that for that reason ml is useful okay so generally so machine learning will have some advantages something like so what is the advantage of the machine learning if someone asks okay what it is doing it is doing the automation so machine learning enables automation of tasks that would be time consuming or but are practically impossible to perform manually so human cannot perform some tasks right those type of things also this leads to the increase the efficiency and productivity of the company right if you do the automatic automation and accuracy machine learning algorithms can process large amounts of data and identify the patterns that may not be immediately apparent to humans okay this can lead to improve accurate predictions and decision making and similarly insights these will help us to the uh, uh, from the data which which feature else which information is bringing the more something business strategies point of view that in that area also it will helpful real time processing so uh, so uh, it it will it will give the instant results okay if you ask something that is more more helpful right in that aspect in real time processing also it's happening with that okay similarly deep learning also so we already discussed right feature learning it will automatically learn the features okay and it will give the state of art performance state of art means best in best in the industry i can say state of art means okay so that would be the best in the industry at that moment that is the state of art performance for that part problem okay and scalability it will up, you can scale for the even for the large data volumes also you can scale the applications and you can scale the number of users customers in that point of view. scalability is possible in the deep learning applications transfer learning okay you can if you have the you can transfer the suppose you trained a model for the predicting of the cat or dog Suma, uh, tomorrow i can make the transfer implement the transfer learning on the on that so i can utilize the same model to, to predict the human also or a, a horse or else another animal a elephant so to identify the some other classes which is not trained earlier okay which is not there in the uh, training point 
so you can apply the transfer learning and you utilize the old model and that will help us to uh, easily to recognize the new new objects also okay and similarly nlp okay language understanding what it is doing what you are talking with the computer if it is able to understand right that is the major one thing and text analysis what you are giving the input text it will analyze and it will give the insights of the day, day, that text right that is more okay language translation if the person was speaking uh, from english to the, your local language okay or else from french language okay so if you are able to understand that language translation what he was speaking without any language translation assistance right no need of the language translation assistance. that is that is needed right and text generation instead of writing an email from you if the system if you are uh, an application what you develop that it automatically generates an email that is needed right so something like or else if you want to write a book okay if you given the topic or else this is what the content okay it will generate the based upon the the bullet points what you have given based upon that it will generate the textbook also that, that there the text generation will be useful information retrieval so based upon the whatever you have given the text so it will extract the importance doing the summarization those point of view right so in that area information retrieval would be useful personal assistance as i told right for the uh, language translation or else the siri alexa google assistant these all are there right these are all are allowing to perform this test okay and sentiment analysis whatever the you given the the text or else you you given a, a review for the product okay by knowing the review of what what type of reviews are giving to the uh, uh, to the uh, 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 to that product owner okay so he will try to do the some changes to the product and he will come back to the market okay that, those areas you can use the uh, sentiment analysis point of view okay and challenges and ethical considerations okay so so bias means uh, you stick to the one direction right so bias and in ai lead to unfair outcomes and discrimination so if you if you don't provide the right input or right uh, amount of the data to your application in the training time so it won't give the fair outcomes okay so that's the one problem and privacy concerns arise from the use of personal data in ml models okay if you use your personal data whatever you are chatting with the friends or something that that privacy concerns will have occur okay transparency and interpretability of ai decisions are critical so why it is acting like this in particular area particular given text okay the interpretability is a critical it's not saying impossible you can do okay you can do some, to some level extent why it is happening like that okay why it is predicting the given image as a cat only why it is predicting as a dog only which features impacting those you can do some certain extent you can try to understand what it is interpreting from the given input data but uh, it's a critical it is saying okay job displacement due to automation in the so societal concerns okay nowadays you are seeing seeing right the uh, call centers was replacing by the chatbots right so that was the job displacements so in the future also the monotony jobs which were doing the human right in the manufacturing industry or even the software industry also who will do the monotony job those type of suppose hr hrs will do hr's type of task if i hr task if i uh, hr task if i replace by the uh, ai assistant so what i'm saying the 90 percent of the hr task you can replace by the ai assistant right some areas needed but it will reduce the number of job, jobs suppose what i'm trying to say currently if it is 10 job 10 hrs was there in your current company so by incorporating this okay AI assistant you can reduce to the two eight jobs will displace something like that yeah ethics focuses on creating systems that are fair accountable and trustworthy so th in these area th these areas was the we have to consider the challenges and this okay so that that's the that's the details about the ml and dl under dl nlp where you will use those are the details okay and the different industries how it will use okay so which type of problems you are going to solve with the ml and dl okay hope 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 the information is clear okay if you have any questions right 
you can you can raise your questions yeah that's it from my end and i just want to add few points okay the overall course we are going to use the python is the coding language okay the prerequisite so so i will cover that in the first week of this so which is needed for the machine learning point of view the python course i will i will train on that so i will give the guidance and the python course for the first week okay uh, so python is the programming which we are going to do for the whole applications yeah certification point of view uh, generally generally no need any certification in this area but cloud side uh, there is azure dp100 some other certifications is there but but i won't recommend the certifications certifications is no need the 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 thing is okay uh, how you are solving the problem that only you should focus okay because that should present what you are doing to the companies so nobody i feel nobody is doing the considerations on the certification point of view but uh, people will do the marketing and the certifications things yeah you can unmute and you can ask your questions if you have anything imran or madhu ganesh sorry uh, it it depends on the experience the package point of view okay maybe if you have the five years experience you might get the 20 or 30 also okay uh, yes actually mm -hmm. actually i was working in technical support right now but uh, i don't have experience in it department like actually you know for software you, i don't know yeah. i don't know any software yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, actually i just want to shift the career from the non-it to it like uh, from technical support to just data scientist so that i can how, my, how much can i get the package like i'm just working for the four and a half years in this company but there's no career growth in this company, this company. so just right, want to shift right. from this to that so how much can i get the package like uh, um, so generally any, uh, like, yes, um, yes yeah yeah so generally two dependencies okay which company you are moving that will matters okay if you are if you are moving to the same uh, maybe what i'm trying to say a development company or support company which company you are moving that one thing will matter okay and another one would be uh, what the current package you are getting that some companies will consider okay and some companies won't think about also the product companies how better you performed in an interview that will you only consider generally what i'm what i can say was at least a 50 to 60 percent you will get at least a 50 to 60 percent if you are having the uh, decent salary now okay but if you have the very low salary even you can get the 200 percent also that's that's a depend upon the what's your current salary and what's the experience also you, you have it right you are holding the actually account. i don't have experience in the data science no so that ah, that's, that's the reason that the what i'm saying was yeah yeah yeah, yeah. what i'm is. saying was if you have the four years of experience assume okay what i'm saying is yes maybe yes. with that with that experience you might have holding some current package some x amount right so yes. generally you will generally with that x amount will be considered at the time of interviews generally so based upon okay. that x amount they will give the some uh, 50 to 60 percent in the most cases okay but if you perform okay. very well you will get you, you will even get the 100 percent also that's based upon your oh. performance side yeah based on yeah. the performance okay, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. thank you mm -hmm. yeah how, how many how many months is the course duration mm, uh, it's not a month maybe 50 50 hours class it's 50 hours 50 hours class okay daily one hour like one hour two hours one one, 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 one no 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 it's a it's a based upon the uh, the batch okay, uh, it, okay. it will be one to in between one to two hours okay because based upon the time okay. when you are you, you have to stretch some days it may go with the one hour some days you you have to stretch for a 15 or 20 minutes something like that it will happen okay, okay. okay. but uh, you can assume like in between one to one and a half hour daily okay maybe roughly okay. you can keep as a, a one month tenure okay one to okay. Uh, one month to 45 days that's it max one month you can okay, keep. okay. okay. one month would be uh, the, actually you don't have the python will be uh, learning the python but that's literally go fully Fully, full fledged full Python or just only basics for the uh, deep learning, like machine learning? What, what is needed for the machine learning? I'm not going to teach everything of the Python. Okay. What is needed for the okay. machine learning to solve the problems with the machine learning, right? So those oh, okay. type of basics I will cover. Okay. okay. Which is okay. needed okay. for my course, which is needed for my course, that only I will cover in the Python course. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you, thank you. Any questions, Imran, from your end? Prakash? Uh, 